I've got a new tribute to boy Galway back with another reaction. I've got something you've all been asking for for a little while now. This is crept last night in Lagos. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Pronounce it. Lagos, Lagos. Either way, I've done a couple of crep songs. If you haven't seen them, that is the the letters to Cadet. I've also done Cadet's letters to Crep. Uh, those are some pretty uh, <laughs> intense ones. If you haven't haven't checked them out, I do do highly recommend them. If you want to see a grown man cry, which I do. <laughs> But um, either way, I'm excited for this one. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of Krebs. I I do like what he did with um those letters. They literally broke me. So I'm excited to see what this is. I wonder if Cadet's gonna make an appearance. I don't know. I'm excited either way. This is on Link Up TV. Um, as always, thank you for the love. We're well over 2K now, which is. Insane. It's almost just like whatever now. <laughs> like I'm stoked that people are enjoying what I'm doing, which is catching and breaking down bars as best as I can. Not always going to be right, but I try my best. Um, either way, let's jump straight into it. Let's go catch some bars. Yeah. Crap. Big up. Oh, did I just see? Is that Cadet? It looks like Cadet, I think, by the beard. Big up EY on this one. Play dirty. Man, never. Listen. I go so hard, you wanna know why I'm like this. Let me break it down, where I'm from, how life is. Man go to work every day, feeling lifeless. Let me break it down, where I'm from, how life is. Yeah, I th thought I heard that right. Where I'm from, how life is. Just wanted to double check. <laughs> double check. Man go to work every day, feeling lifeless. Then you get paid, but the money ain't righteous. Paid all your bills, now your shit's back in minus. Till next payday, you'll probably move in the tightest for the rest of your life. This I know what this is going to be about, or what the start of this is about, about to be about, which is, you know, you hustle and you grind and you, you go to work, you get up every day, you do what you have to do, you pay all your bills and at the end of the week you've got nothing left. You've got nothing to show for it. Just living check to check, which I did for the longest time. I'm really starting to get a handle on my finances. Not where I would like to be, but a lot better than when I was a fucking kid, man. I was I was bad. Even when I was making some really good money, I was just going out. Putting it up my nose, pretty much. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see what he has to say here on this one. Back in minus, till next payday, you're probably moving the tightest for the rest of your life. This cycle repeats, that's why I live, eat, breathe this. That's why I'm a beast, niggas round me winning, so I go hard with this shit. Stayed at Raheem's house, where do I start with that crib? Got a courtyard in a crib, an indoor swimming pool, got a bar in a crib. Got a barber shop, got a cinema in the crib, a tanning room if you want to get dark in the crib. Tanning room if you want to get dark in a crib. <laughs> got a barber shop. <laughs> He's got everything in his house a pool, a bar. Cinema in the crib. It's a mansion. A tanning room if you want to get dark in the crib. How's that for inspiration? How's that to make you want to get the fuck up out of your situation? Streets don't love you. Telling you niggas, mm. if you made it out the streets, the name meant to you niggas. But the streets gave life to like ten of my niggas, and the streets took life from like ten of my niggas. Oh, streets gave life to like ten of my, and the streets took life from ten of my. It's saying it the way I interpret that is that streets take and they give, they don't care who they're taking or giving from, which they don't, they don't give a fuck who you are. Life always tends to just move on. It may come to a standstill for a little bit, but the rest of the world, it it doesn't stop. Even if you die, nothing nothing stops. The world keeps moving. South side, all the shit that's taught me. I'm from the yo at Link Me and Morley's. All the stories, the shit that it did for me. But thank God, cause things could have went differently. Like when me see them not all on a ride. Couple inches to the left, we all would have got life. Don't even remember the reason for it. Couple inches to the left. Things could have 
went differently. Like when me see him not all on a ride, couple inches all on to a the ride. Left. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna assume all on a ride they went out on a drive by. And he's saying if it was a couple inches to the left, we all would have got life, as in we would have killed someone, which would have, which means we are essentially locked away for life, pretty much. That's what I, I think that bar's saying. We all would have got life, don't even remember the reason for it. Just would have been another mother's heart bleeding from it. Mm. Would it have been worth it? No way. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> it like breaks my heart a little bit seeing him there knowing that he's not with us anymore. <laughs> Who would have been here to change the whole game? Only hood niggas in the charts next to Coldplay. It's mad cause seven years ago you could have got your old eight. But there's still a couple killers. You know what? I th you know what I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying about this right now, the, f the film clip wise? All these men are there. They're all just standing in silence. No one's moving. No one's saying anything. No one's getting hype. It's just crap. Spitting these bars. Telling you all the story, which you all know how much I love a story. And it's just kind of understated that they're just there. They're just chilling. They're just with their homie. They don't have to hype him up. I, w I wonder if the track's going to progress. I don't know. I'm we'll see, but... I feel like it's just going to be a story the whole time. I'm just going to have his boys with him, which I like. Killers on the seventh side. And years ago, you could have got your old eight, but there's still a couple killers on the seventh side. Have you when your dog's petrified? You know what? His cadence. Sorry for stopping again, but his cadence is all. It's it's kind of similar to the last letter to get at, where he's just. You know, this beat's very very slow. There's not really a whole lot to it. And he's just like kind of roll, rolling with this really chill flow and cadence, just telling a story. Like he's not trying to be. It's definitely not the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard flow-wise, but painting a picture with his words, really fucking vividly. Which you know I fucking love that. Couple killers on the seventh side. Have you when your dog's petrified? Think of Superman. Or you don't want to bump into crap tonight, nigga, where you reppin'? Oh, <laughs> oh, that is a bar. You think you're Superman, but you don't want to bump into crep tonight. Crept tonight. Crip tonight, which is Superman's weakness. That's a fucking bar, cunt. Wow. The Superman. Have you when your dog's petrified? Think of Superman. Or you don't want to bump into crap tonight, oh. nigga, where you reppin'? We are from the seven. You don't want the problem. Come at our section. You might get bone cuss. A pin mic. <laughs> you don't you want to come at our section and come at our section. <laughs> you might get bone cuss. A pin mic wet him. I wish he'd put it down, but the streets won't let him. Fuck a street fighter. My G's got a weapon. Think it's a game until your life get taken. You can learn a lesson. Oh, you think you're street fighter? Okay, we got we got a um. <laughs> We got a fighter, fighter bars, video games about fighters. Tekken, you, your life might get Tekken, taken. It's just a play on words. Fucking brilliant writing. Wow. He's got a weapon. Think it's a game until your life get yeah, Tekken. Ah. Uh. Learn a lesson, a lesson from the streets. G keys to the bimmer. I still take man's beanie. Bag of brothers. Seven is the magic number. Don't stab me in the back. Cause you don't want to see my acupuncture. Say we ain't the kings. Ain't the truth. Stab me in the back because you don't want to see my acupuncture. If you know what acupuncture is, the little needles in the back. Fuck me. It started off really slow. No bars really caught my attention, but it's like progressing and I'm like, okay, hold on. <laughs> Hold the fuck on. Don't stab me in the back, cause you don't want to see my acupuncture. Say we ain't the kings. I feel like that's a play on words too, acupuncture. I don't know if that's a another meaning for a gun or something. I feel like it is. Ain't the truth. Don't go there. With royalty, you kids come out of nowhere. Cause they ain't matching us. I could throw you, P, but you still ain't catching up. We attract the love. My West Ting wants sexual healing, so she acting up. Yeah. So how do we survive? That's why them young'uns on the streets letting heaters fly. These young girls sell they self, can't sleep at night. She moving loose, but it's probably a reason why. Girls abused at home, so it plays with their head. They start moving backwards, so watch what I say next. They slip up as pupils, eat desserts when they're stressed. 
Hold on. Moving backwards, so watch what I see next. They slip up as pupils, eat desserts when they're stressed because she lived with the devil. Hope you caught what I said. Desserts when they're stressed because she lived with the devil. Hope you caught what I said. Hope you caught what I said. Is he saying that like these these girls have been, you know, abusing their home life? They haven't felt love. So they go out and they sexualize. Is that what he's saying? I don't know what he's trying to actually say with that bar. As pupils eat the zerks when they're stressed. Like eat the zerks when they're stressed. I don't know what zerks are. Maybe like Xanax or something. I don't know. And any anxiety. I don't know. I don't know. Because she lived with a devil. I hope you caught what I said. I'll give you a minute to catch that. Give you a minute to realize we're the best with the raps at. We call that it. No? Show love when you on the way up, my nigga. Cause if you fool, I won't pick you back up, my nigga. Don't change up, my nigga. That's what it is, my nigga. Hated school, but we got the English lit, my nigga. Word. Fuck you, rappers that don't. <laughs> Hated school, but we got the English lit. <laughs> I feel like that's a bit of an ode to his country. Hated school, but we got the English lit. We got England lit. With their with their music. Maybe. Really right. And fuck the DJs that don't really play me. Couple old school girls started snooping lately. Fuck you, bitch, you never used to rape me. They said, crept you rich now, look at your chains, how you whipping, G? Fuck these chains, nigga, they don't mean shit to me. This mm. might be rich to you, this ain't rich to me. Until my people good, I don't see victory. Come, my dad's still praying for a murder. Damn, until my people good, I don't see victory. Damn. Be on that Nipsey Hustle vibe with that. Trying to lift up his people. R.I.P. Nipsey. I was never, I'll, I'll admit, I wasn't a big fan of his music. I respected his movement, though. He was a man trying to lift up his people, which is exactly what Krept is trying to do. But what he's saying he's trying to do, I don't know if he actually does. I don't, I don't know much about him other than uh, the stuff that he's done with Cadet. But if it's true... Respect. Hats off. I take my hat off. My nigga's still out here. Hey, getting searched. My mum's still slaving at work. My stepdad lost his job, so it's making it worse. Had to work when her mum died. Yeah, that's a joke thing. All those years in that company. Still no promotion. I don't know who's in charge there, but this is for you. Before I die, I'm going to make sure she's richer than you. <laughs> so, he's, as he said... His mum works at a company for years, no promotion. But his his main goal is he's going to make sure that his mum's richer than the motherfucker who owned the company because she didn't look after him, look after her. Man like crept. Man like crept. But this is for you. Before I die, I'm going to make sure she's richer than you. Head of the fam had to man up. Just paid for most of my fam to bury Nana. Mum broke down, thinking Ugh. about the funeral costs. I said, Mum, I got this. What do you think I'm doing this for? Yeah, cool, that's little hood rappers. Got to change that now. Enough money for a Maybach now. I'm Enough money for a Maybach now. Don't know what a Maybach is, but I assume it's expensive. <laughs> hood rappers got to change that now. Enough money for a Maybach now. Out in New York over at ASAP South thinking, look at where the music took me. Man's going worldwide with the future. Just opened up for Breezy like the room stunk. Just made like quarter million in two months. Look where the music took me. Yeah. Best in the city. I was rolling through the jeep with S and the Mizzy. Now I'm rolling through the six with Skeppy and Drizzy. Thinking, look at where the music... Oh, now I'm rolling through the six with Skeppy and Drizzy. Rolling through my sixes, I think it's called. I don't know much about Drake, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's a Drake song. What was what was the bar before that? I was rolling through the jeep with S and the Mizzy. Now I'm rolling through the six with Skeppy and Drizzy. Thinking, look at where the music took me. Fuck. That's why I never take days off. I gotta change odds. Oh. See, I like, I like that bar. That's why I never take days off. Because I've got to change odds. The odds are stacked against me. So I'm going to work until the chips aren't stacked against me. I fucking like that. I really like that bar. Days off. I've got to change odds. 
but my plane's about to take off. P.S. We just shut down Lagos. P.S. <laughs> we just shut down Lagos. I don't know what Lagos is. I assume maybe that's his end. I'm gonna. I'm going to assume. Link up TV. Mandem. Mandem. <laughs> section. You know what? I really like that film clip. I really like that film clip. I know it's it's done, but it was so like easy to stay engaged because there wasn't a whole lot going on. It was just him barring out. He had his homies there. Just like they were there in solitude, supporting what he had to say, supporting his message. You know, the 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 um story he's trying to tell fuck i had the biggest brain part there i'm, I'm very tired <laughs> man i've there were some fucking cold bars in there cold as fuck that that superman bar because it's it's fucking genius in that it's a play on words on his name as well as well like the levels to that are just so fucking good big ups crept Big ups. Now, now I think I need to ke check out. I think Conan has a song Last Night in LA. I have to get onto that one. Sheet. Done now. Yeah, it's done. Alright. That is crap. Last Night in LA. Last Night in Lagos. Fuck me. I really need to go to bed. <laughs> As always, if you did enjoy my reaction, you know what to do. Hit the like, comment, subscribe. It all helps with the channel's growth. You know. It's just blown up. It really has. And uh, I can't thank you enough for the for the love and support. I say it every video. I, I genuinely am humbled that so many people are interested in what I have to say. We're just getting started. I have some big fucking plans. I really fucking do. I've got the come up that I'm working on. I think I'm going to go to a, a once a fortnight thing for the come up. I think once a week. With... How I'm going to do it might be a little bit too much to undertake so early on. So I think once a fortnight is probably what I'm going to aim for. I'm really excited for that to start coming out and getting some graphics and stuff done up for it. So it's all going to be schmick. You know how I like, I don't like to do things in half. So that's, that's how we're doing it. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.